Hallo, mijn naam is Jesse en ik vraag me af wat Intel plan is met GPU computing. De HD serie's en Iris Pro graphics van de processor tegenwoordig zijn erg sterk en zou het zeker gebruikt kunnen worden om bepaalde taken te versnellen. Bijvoorbeeld het compilen van code of het helpen transcoden en streamen van een 4K videostream naar een tablet. Wat is Intel hiermee van plan? Hi Jesse, my name is John Webb. I manage the graphics marketing team at Intel. I'm based in Portland, Oregon. And I want to thank you for your question about do we use the GPU to do other types of workloads like transcoding media streams in 1080p to allow them to be streamed on the network or converted to other file formats. It turns out that in our second gen processor for this type of capability, we introduce what's called quick sync video. It's a fixed function hardware it's in all of our processors, all of our core processors, and it allows us to do transcoding, transrating between many different types of file formats as energy efficiently as possible. So something that would have taken you say two hours, we can transcode that in a few minutes, very quickly, very power efficiently. That capability would have enabled in all the leading media applications in the industry. You can get that in applications from Cyberlink, you can get that in Handbrake, for instance. Other uses models you asked about were, what else can you do with the GPU besides gaming? And since we don't need to do a transcoding, what else can we do? We've enabled others in the industry to use the GPU for photo and video processing. So special effects, filters, motion blur, you can accelerate this all in the GPU. Popular applications, again, from folks like Cyberlink, Adobe, um, Sony take advantage of these capabilities and that type of GPU offload. In the future, we expect more applications to use GPU offload and use OpenCL 1.2. But in the meantime, the media applications, photo video applications, generally are enabled to do that today and they can do that on Intel product. Thanks for your question. Mm -hmm.